can you begin to pray in the spirit until your hand rests upon you go ahead and pray and whilst we are praying at the same time may I request that you bring out your prayer request and you can pass it do we have ushers that can help us make this happen so you can pass your request to the person at the aisle and then they will pick it up and bring it here so we'll just do everything very quickly while you are writing your prayer request those online here is your chance I'd like you to be praying already in the name of Jesus the son of the living God these Egyptians that I see today this trouble this situation listen I submit to you by the power of the Holy Spirit I didn't start this as a ritual I didn't even know that they used to collect this it was by revelation and it was a, a covenant of answered prayer that every time you see it's not a ritual no no this is the most accurate representation of your faith and your desires the bible says be anxious for nothing but in everything philippians 4 and verse 6 by prayer and supplication it says let your request be made known don't assume let your request be made known unto god hallelujah if you need a minute to write a few things perhaps you omitted some other things out of fear shake away fear and write everything that you believe the god of sabaoth will do for you we're talking about the hand of god the hand of god can scatter the mountains break to pieces everything is it a rent issue is it an issue with your home is it an issue of a child what is it that god cannot do hallelujah those online i want you to connect we're about to pray we're stepping into a prophetic moment right now and if you need to invite everybody around you to say here is a point we're praying we're releasing the anointing coming upon someone coming upon a destiny a man of god is about to encounter a higher level of grace a business person for someone from this oasis conference you will not forget it in a hurry listen when samuel anointed saul three things happened to saul number one he said the donkey that has been missing has now gone back home there is restoration when the anointing comes upon you that things you have lost relationships you have lost for someone you lost a job for someone you lost your finances perhaps in a wrong business it doesn't matter in what form or fashion believe the god of heaven to surprise you with the anointing comes restoration number two with the anointing comes favor and honor you will see three men holding two loaf of bread they will salute you and they will give to you and he says to receive from them for some of you you will be surprised that in this atmosphere of worship even before service is done you will check your phone and you will see alas where are you i need to see you and you are wondering for what listen let me say this with all due respect 
just because people have made nonsense out of supernatural experiences should not make you believe everybody's a joker on stage there are people who fear god and the word of god is upon their lips tonight if you believe congratulations if you don't save johnny maybe next year you will believe hallelujah praise the name of the lord I'm going to request that pastor nat will usher our prayer session by blowing the trumpet i'm always very happy if he's by my side and i'm ministering do you know why because the bible tells us that when the trump of god shall sound there will be a rising right from the grave when the trump of god sounds even the grave does not hold men when the there is a sound in the realm of the spirit that equals elevation equals rising whether you are from the grave no matter how long you don't need to go to the graves one by one jesus spoke to one man's grave but when the trumpet is a signal that as soon as the sound of the trump of the archangel all of a sudden there will be a massive rising we're using this prophetically that by the sound of the trumpet i want to see to see yourself that if you were here i want you to see yourself rising by the spirit at the sound of the trumpet i want you to see yourself beyond the song that the trumpet is singing i want you to see yourself ascending a ladder so this is what you are doing in my life this is what you are doing in my ministry the hand of god reaching through worship elevating someone lifting someone changing your level wiping your tears are you ready the moment the trumpet as he begins to worship for a few minutes you begin to pray in the spirit and while you are praying see yourself pray let your mind be part of your prayer process yes sir see yourself rising arise shine frustration that circumstances have kept you god is speaking to someone arise by the hand of god by the spirit of god arise in business arise in ministry arise in destiny arise from the grave we command the grave be open 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 financial grave be open marital grave be open ministerial grave be open in the name of jesus Hallelujah. Someone is prophesying. I'm rising. I'm rising by the hand of God. Let the realm of the spirit hear your voice. I am rising. Oh, I'm rising. I am rising. We will rise in your name. Adonai. You reign on high. Professor, I am rising we will from rise. the shadow. Rising. From every limitation, I don't If I lack a person, I
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're about to pray now. Listen, listen. Let me have your attention. Let me have your attention. Please listen. There are four things that are going to happen in this place concurrently at the same time. Number one. There are age-long infirmities, blood conditions, sicknesses, diseases that are locked up in your life and your destiny. It is time for them to go. Number two. There are yokes of darkness that have sat on the destinies of men, not allowing people to rise. The Bible says, what seest thou? And it says, four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem, Israel, and Judah, so that no man doth lift up his head. The assignment of these horns are to keep you down, so that your head does not rise. And if you are the first person from your family whose head is now rising, they now press you down. Someone shout, no way. Say it again, no way. Shout it by the Spirit, say no way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know to a point where in our generation now there are people who are afraid of being successful because the moment they rise there are wicked spirits either they kill you or some mysterious disease just comes out how does a young man 23 24 years what is he doing with cancer but because you are the one god is lifting can i tell you satan will never waste his energy before he attacks you he verifies how many people will be affected by your fall. It will be a waste to attack one man just for his sake. Every attack on your life, I'm telling you, is not because of you. It's because of the many connected to you. But I pray right now, every power, parakatosiata, sitting on everyone's destiny, I call upon the God of Sabaoth. Let those altars scatter now. May they scatter now. Jesus Christ, altars bringing shame, bringing reproach to your life and your destiny. I cancel that statement, be careful from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm just hearing a song in my spirit, Jehovah Jireh. My provider is grace is sufficient for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider is grace is sufficient for me. Go ahead, celebrate your victory. Jehovah Jireh, my provider is grace is sufficient for me. Jehovah Jireh. hallelujah hallelujah now very quickly very quickly the hand of the lord is going to begin to locate a few people here please hear me and ushers very quickly the next three minutes or so 
I want you for all those ones under the anointing if you can if you are if there's no usher close to you and someone is under the anointing please let me request do well maybe someone can assist just bring them there is a reason why we ask them to come to the front hallelujah we're going to do this very very fast there is something that God is doing the first thing that is happening right now is God is revealing to me I want you to listen if there is any family here that there has been a yoke of delay or anything connected to ancestry you may not even know the root I'm going to speak now this is the first thing God is revealing at the moment the power of God comes upon you just know that your family is experiencing deliverance father my God in the name that is above all names I stretch my hands at the count of three everyone I want you to shout the name Jesus there is a mighty deliverance fire that is about to rest upon people are you ready one two three shout Jesus I cross those spirits I cross those altars bring them out I cross those spirits release them now release your destinies now Release your destinies now. Bring them out. I cost those spirits. Let them go. Release them at this Oasis conference. May the hand of God judge the wicked. May the hand of God judge every altar. In the name of Jesus. Bring them out. May the hand of God Judge the wicked. May the abarakata vakatos. They break the tepakata. Let that fire burn every altar. Burn every enchantment. Yahweh Sabah. Yahweh Sabah. Yahweh. The Lord is showing me chains and the Lord is saying release these families I don't know what families have been held down I come by an apostolic and prophetic anointing at this oasis conference chains break chains break chains break the Lord chains break chains break break in the name of Jesus Christ Yahweh I hear in my spirit release their glory everything that has covered your glory my Bible says but thou O Lord as a shield for me ay, 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 ay. it says my glory my glory my glory my glory my glory the lifter up of my head everything that has covered your glory we tear that veil now we tear that veil now hello we tear that veil now we tear that veil now Listen, 
person there are many of you with the level of gift and value that you carry you should never be begging for bread but when a man's glory is covered whether by witchcraft you are gifted but you remain small i say it again we come in the volume of the book anyone's glory that has been covered we fear that fail now we fear that fail aparanta kosiata we fear that fail now listen everyone say after me say father father say it again say father for my shame give me double for my shame give me double open your mouth and pray one minute for my shame for my shame for my shame don't be distracted another sound is coming don't be distracted for my shame for my shame let it be clear that your hand is upon me let it be clear that your hand is upon me for my shame hallelujah in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus who is Elizabeth I'm hearing a name Elizabeth we may not have the time Elizabeth this I'm seeing a woman at least this woman should not be less than maybe 50 years old this is what I'm seeing I will pray for you but I'm not seeing a young lady at all in oh mama is who is that mama is a, no let her stay where she is for the sake mama I want to pray for you please lay your hand on your chest say after me I will not die but leave and declare the works of the Lord I cross every manifestation of the spirit of death you will not wake up having your 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 right leg unable to move because of arthritis I command that spirit to give way now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm hearing a name Jessica in the name of Jesus I don't know where that person is but I prophesy to you Jessica who is Jessica I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit may the Lord restore your family may the Lord restore your family in the name of Jesus Christ I'm, Wumi, I'm hearing the name Wumi this should be a Yoruba name Wumi W-U-M-I Wumi in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying for you the Lord is saying he's opening the gates of your career opening the gates of your career hear me what God says to one he says to all in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone here you are a barrister I'm seeing that doors have been closed for you but in the name of Jesus before the end of this year I'm saying it to you prophetically my God will open doors in a way that will surprise you hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now for all of you who are in front here I didn't bring you out to waste your time I decree and declare by the Spirit of the Living God everything God is correcting by his hand everything God is arranging may it be completed now and every spirit that will not let you go let it go now let it go now let it go now let it go now this is Zion the house of God let it go now you are released forever your family is released forever you will never forget this conference in a hurry in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the name of the Lord for those who are fine you can return to your seat rejoicing I want to do something prophetically we are still going to sing this song Yahweh now for all those who are sick just listen to me prophetic instructions are very funny but they carry power while the worship is going on all I want you to do is lay your hands where that sickness is are we together 
just lay your hands and when it is time to shout when pastor Nat prompts you just do what i'm asking you to do just shout by faith and you will find out a marvelous miracle this is what god is telling me you see the foolishness of the way of the spirit is that the natural the, the way of the spirit is not understood by natural men no matter what the sickness is as they raise this song the moment he's ready to blow the trumpet and he asks you to shout just lay your hands if it's your head lay your hands there if it's your back if it's an internal problem lay your hands there and you can also stand in for a loved one if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest we'll do this for the next two minutes and you watch the mighty miracles that God will bring in your body yes sir Yahweh Shabao Yahweh Shabao Yahweh Yahweh Shabao hallelujah my god there are mighty miracles happening here now i decree and declare everyone having any pain any area of your body that pain leaves you now you are here and you could not walk feeling pains around your limbs i decree and declare may the hand of god rest upon you now migraine headaches be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now any growth around your body lumps around your breast or abdominal region we command those lumps to give way now the lord is showing me someone who has very severe the upper part of your back in the name of jesus christ you have a serious problem bending this is not the lower part the upper part the power of god is touching you right now shout a believing amen, amen. hallelujah there's someone you don't have any obvious sickness but you've been trusting god and i'm seeing that you've been praying you have hepatitis and you have been trusting god to take that thing away in the name of jesus i decree and declare that spirit leaves your body now high blood pressure high blood pressure high aparakatos katepelekatosiata high blood pressure is living now now there's someone you've been feeling severe pain around your neck area and this thing is you are touching is feeling like there's some mass growing this thing is looking like symptoms of goeta but in the name of jesus i'm praying for you now right now as i'm speaking that pain leaves check yourself that pain leaves now that pain leaves now the lord is showing me a woman you take in 
but it never crosses three or four months something must happen and you lose the baby this thing has repeated itself again and again it's a demonic thing i'm praying for you my god i i just saw light as i mentioned this case in the name of jesus whoever that person is we announce to you by the hand of god this is your season to carry your baby this is your season to carry your baby this is your season to carry your baby in the name of jesus i feel stirred in my spirit to pray for children there is such a demonic onslaught over the health and the minds of children i'm aware that there are people connecting from across the globe as a body of christ i want us to use one minute and pray right now for this demon spirit called mental health huh? we are going to call it by name and cause it to its root go ahead in one minute here at oasis every one child the children in this ministry and the ones outside of this place we are praying for them 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 decree and declare mental health of any and all sorts plaguing children plaguing their destinies we bring every child under the blood we bring every child under the blood you're watching from america from the united kingdom from australia you're watching from across the globe in the name of jesus we are releasing healing to the nations right from here lagos nigeria we are releasing healing to our children they shall not die they are taught of the lord their minds are revived their minds are revived their minds are revived in the name of jesus hallelujah 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 we're almost done do you believe in financial prosperity huh believe oh if you don't believe god prospers people let me tell you the kind of lack and wants that would descend on your life it will push you to the corridors of compromise there is only one reason israel goes to egypt hunger genesis 42 from verse 1 and 2 jacob said i have heard that there is corn in egypt he said why sit you here and look at one another go tita verse 2 verse 2 get thee down and buy for us so that we will live and not die that's how they became slaves in egypt this is the origin of their journey to slavery hunger every time there is hunger israel will always go to egypt in search for bread and people will begin to compromise can i tell you god is not against your prospering and there is a real anointing that prospers men what god is against is your heart being lifted up that what he gives you now replaces him where else will god prosper if not the church now when it has to do with the subject of god blessing and helping people there is a whole dynamics there is a place for value developing your gifts there is a place for understanding the laws of wealth i agree there are many professionals here people in the financial industry we do not downplay that but we are saying that in addition to all things there is an advantage that the believer has in christ the bible tells us bless the lord psalm 102 oh my soul and forget not his benefits we do not serve him because of benefits we serve him because we love him but he is kind and benevolent are we together because the character of fatherhood according to scripture is the ease with which you give not just the presence of children in the mind of scripture the proof that you are father is that you are giving if you been evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more are you learning now 
I'm saying this because I know that the body of Christ is going through a mix of so many things. I'm seeing many children come. Come and line them here. Don't worry. We'll pray for them. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. I will ask my friend and brother to blow over them. Like that wind. It was the east wind that blew and brought all kinds of insects and pests to Egypt. And when God was taking away the, 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 the plague, it was still the wind. We're using this, our children, as a point of contact. If you're coming with a child, just come with them. After one minute, you can stay with your child wherever and believe by faith. We're just using them as a point of contact. May it never be that a generation arises that hates Jesus. May it never be. Listen, you don't know the kind of attack that is on the generation of these children. You would think they are small. The ones that we call presidents today, once upon a time, the devil grew with them. Are we together? We look like young people, but whether you like it or not, you are getting old every day. I know that you are fresh, you are happy in the Lord. Yes, I agree. But whether you like it or not, every day you celebrate your birthday, you are not just celebrating the years you have spent. You are celebrating what is left. Hallelujah. And there was another generation that knew not Pharaoh. Let, let me distract what I'm saying. That finance thing, I'm going to pray for you on it. I must pray for you on it. If you don't believe it, transfer your amen to someone else. But let me tell you the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, reject poverty. Let me repeat it for your hearing. Reject poverty. Reject it. Reject it. In the name of Jesus, reject it reject it there is no honor in it it brings reproach to the name of the lord it brings reproach to the saints it pushes believers to the corridors of compromise but for now let's take a minute i'm standing in faith and we are going to pray and cry for these children whether it's your biological child that is here or not in the next one minute invest prayer over the next generation father they will not be lost this cancer of infant mortality mental health issues pray all the infirmities you know that plague children father let your hand rest upon our children may they serve the god of their parents may they serve the god of their parents pray for them Lord, walk on their mind. The things they learn in school. The things they learn watching television. The things they learn on the internet. Purify their minds, oh God. Purify their minds, oh God. Pray that no parent will bury any of these children here. That no parent will bury any of these children here hallelujah hallelujah i pray for these children in the name of jesus may you serve the god of your parents the sicknesses that destroy children i hope you know there is a spirit that attacked children when moses was born many children died when jesus was born many children died we're praying no oasis child no redeemed child here represented will be buried by their parents and if there is any child here who is sick mysterious inexplicable sickness that keeps eating up finances we cause it right now now again i'm going to request thank you pastor nat pastor nat is going to blow on the children as they blow on these children they may not understand what is happening but we are entering a covenant a prophetic covering of the hand of god that is the meaning of the sound in the name of jesus yes sir when you hear the trumpet shout Shabbat. Go ahead. Shout over these children. 
covered by the blood covered by the blood covered by his hand covered by the blood whether they are here or anywhere across the globe covered by the blood covered by the blood covered immune against death immune against failure immune against decline and decadence Hallelujah. Whatever took your parents long to achieve, may you achieve it in half the time. In the name of Jesus. Let's celebrate them as they go. We have to do this fast. Now hear me. Please hear me. I've studied a bit on the power to prosper because I was determined to do ministry with integrity but among the many things that i learned as the key to a successful ministry is not just the purity of your heart there are five elements that are required for a great ministry number one is the mandate number two is the strategy number three the resources are we together yes number four is the backing among the many things required for ministry if you lack resources ministry does not just mean preaching whatever you are doing in the name of the lord is ministry there are many books today that should be written but are not able to be written and those mandated to bless them cannot be blessed this conference you see is not just riding on the wings of the holy ghost alone money was spent it takes it takes wealth can protect integrity did you hear what i said wealth can build a fence around your integrity yes it can yes it can yes it can so i'm going to pray for you we have been anointed to bless and we communicate the whole counsel of god including his desire to bless you listen the anointing for prosperity comes on three areas of your life my apologies that i'm stretching you number one on your head bringing wisdom number two on your hand bringing productivity or number three on your feet bringing direction if you don't receive this threefold impartation you will never prosper let me repeat it again number one on your head job said when his candle shined upon my head if your head is dark your pocket will be empty for sure are we together so it's not just about shouting amen you must know where the anointing is resting the anointing rests upon your head supernatural creativity after the order of bezalel he said there is a spirit in man and the breath the inspiration of the almighty can make men that means some of you at the end of this impartation go and register the company prove that you have received the impartation truly are we together yes at the end of it you cook rice delicious rice everybody is eating it for free by the time the hand of god rests on your head that can be something that god will use there are people who have gone around the world because of supposedly nothing there are some of you your hands a gentleman yesterday personal brought a gentleman who drew me in within 20 or 30 minutes i didn't even know I was minding my business and sipping juice and I'll turn and see my face my current face <laughs> have you seen gifted people begging gifted people they talk to you in five minutes and you say why don't you own a television station with this level of intelligence their communication prowess is at another level and yet they are using that communication to say can you help me and they say it so nicely you feel guilty you can't say no on your head number two your hand the value of what is on your head is only revealed by what your hand does with it your hand is a symbol of your productivity personal when the philistines held samson they bound his hand listen to me the hand 
hand is what executes what the mind has incubated when God wants to prosper men this is the secret God showed me some of us did not come from any background with anything unusual if God did not show this light would only God knows what would have become of us this is not about prosperity money for no believers have been empowered for the end time service of the kingdom I vow to God that I will never manipulate anybody for as long as I live and serve God because I'm looking for something to eat but that statement is an expensive statement it rides upon the wings of the availability of resources there are sincere people who have compromised today not because they are evil when people are hungry anything becomes an option worth considering some of you right now you came to this oasis conference you are already at the verge of compromise someone is already telling you you know what to do and by one week you will get a job it's easy for church people to point hands at people and say you are this and that we when you tell people listen the the idea of consecration is abstinence from and then devotion unto it does not just stop at abstinence from when you tell people abstain from you must show them the way to be devoted to your head don't forget number two your hand is it not true that god can hold the hands of men so when his hand holds your hand you will be surprised what the gift of god upon your life can do men few with all due respect and not to insult you you are wasting grace and wasting value creative ideas by the spirit and with half the things God has placed in your hand because it is not anointed and then number three you can have correct thinking a transformed superior understanding together but if light does not shine on your path for you to prosper the spirit of dimensions of wisdom this is not my teaching but that there are two dimensions that are responsible for prosperity divine direction and divine strategy they are all subsets of wisdom there are five levels of wisdom and there are two of them important for your prosperity divine direction he said the lord is my shepherd i shall not want because of how he leads you so you need guidance and direction guidance tells you your destination i mean direction tells you your destination guidance shows you the steps if i'm guiding you i will say follow that door and then go out that is the exit that's direction but guidance will tell you how to come down from this elevated position so to have direction is not enough direction means your destination your correct destination is in view but you need to be guided and it is its light this was the secret of job i'm saying this so that you do not i want you to receive from this conference that afterward some of you are going to thank this man of god that stands before you you say pastor nath you just saved me 10 years of mistakes 20 years of confusion some of you right now you got a lecture in one minute to reorder your understanding on finances don't think preachers are dummies not everybody is a fool suffering can teach you wisdom you can access wisdom and learn how this thing works i'm saying this because this is what someone is about to receive i truly believe with all my heart that god is a good father and among the many ways he wants to visit us by his hand is in this area of economic empowerment school fees of children right now multiplied rent multiplied everything multiplied if this grace is not released upon the body of christ soon we are going to lose our sons and daughters egypt will take all of them and they will cause god to his face because of economic factors but we forbid that let's pray now father in the name of jesus i stand in faith with pastor nath out of the abundance of your help and your mercy for the sake of your name for the sake of your kingdom i pray over your precious people you have helped men in different degrees but lord there are many who need your help in the area of economy they have stood the test of time 
through that the, the financial troubles many of them have remained people of integrity we cry oh god the hand that lifted job the hand that lifted abraham the hand that lifted solomon lifted david in the name of jesus that marvelous hand that helped uzziah until he prospered and became strong may that hand rest on your head may that hand rest on your head from today extraordinary intelligence in the name of jesus christ number two i pray for your hands i don't know what has frustrated the works of your hands but in the name of jesus christ let an anointing rest on your hands go and prosper with your hands go and prosper with your hands go and prosper with your hands number three by this prayer for someone confusion is ending in your life prophetically i pray over your feet whatever has been leading you to wrong places wrong people wrong businesses wrong ventures and you keep recycling pain losses and trouble may you be redirected by his light may your feet receive guidance may your feet receive direction in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands everybody and begin to speak over this request pastor now please may i request that you come and join me hallelujah go ahead these egyptians we are going to kneel before the lord in one minute and we are going to cry that god will bring visitations over his people go ahead we are praying please go ahead and pray father visit your people for your name's sake turn their lives around give them testimonies 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 avert death oh god avert death let the year end in praise let it end in praise let it end in praise encourage their faith send help us their way Go ahead, stretch your hands. These Egyptians that we see today, you will see them no more forever. Hallelujah. I let, I'm led to sing two songs. Let the fire fall. Let the river flow. Let it burn inside. And flow outside, let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Fall on this river. Let the river flow. Let the fire fall. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we ask for two things. Let your fire descend upon yes, this Lord. request. Yes, Lord. Consume every single request here present secondly let your mighty outstretched arm rest on every request we declare that you have permanently settled every request once and for all the egyptians we see today we see them no more the Philistines, the Moabites, the Amalekites, the Jebusites, we drown them tonight. We declare 
that every request is answered by fire thank you for the visitation of your right hand that do it valiant things in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen amen, amen and amen give jesus a big hand clap give jesus a big hand clap hallelujah praise the name of the lord now very quickly i want to make an altar call here right now there are people who came here today the overflows please everyone let me have your attention for one minute for the sake of someone who needs to make it right with jesus all this is about him about his glory about his hand but about your heart jesus is giving someone an opportunity to make it right and if you are in this place under the sound of my voice we cannot end this glorious service without giving you an opportunity to make it right you are saying apostle if you will ask me to come i will come i will come for jesus i will come to make him known in my life and then there are others who are saying apostle i want to rededicate my life to jesus tired of playing games i want to follow him sincerely i'm going to count one to five don't wait for anyone to be the first you are here this is the business of you and jesus if you are making your way to the front please boldly as we begin to clap come and stand right here the devil is a liar don't let anyone stop you god bless you my dear one i begin my counting now please those who are coming can you clear the way for them so that they come don't be silent don't sit back there two Give them a big God bless you as they come. Apostle, I'm a good person, but I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. Join them. Join them. There is such a thing as the assurance of salvation. Join them. hallelujah are you coming i'm giving you one more minute what's 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 that song that is in my spirit till he returns or calls me home here in the love of christ i stand Till he returns, all comes me on. You in the love of life, I say. What height of love? What height of love? What depth of peace? When he is a child, where's my Thank you very much for your bold decision. Please lift your right hand and say after me as loud as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, I declare that I love you with all my heart. I declare that you are my Savior, you are my Lord, and you are my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb amen father upon the integrity of your word and upon their confession of faith i declare their sins forgiven and in the name of jesus i call you bona fide recipients of the life of god 
the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life i release you to live a victorious christian life and indeed may the hand of god rest upon you it is a new beginning for you in jesus name we pray someone in one minute wherever you are i want you to open your mouth and everything you know that must live your life tonight insist no negotiation it must go outside inside pray the helper has come. Ashanes kapa shotas leka te frakatos kalibra deke baratusia. Everything that needs to leave must leave, because the helper has come. Having obtained help from God, I continue. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray. I'm going to lay my hands on this gentleman. And is this the gentleman I spoke? Of? No, I'm not sure. One that I spoke about in the morning. In the name of Jesus. Where is he? Let him come and stand. I'm going to pray now. Father, I pray in Jesus' name. May your power rest upon this gentleman. Let it be a new season of grace for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the man I spoke to in the morning. What do you do? You are a businessman. I want to pray for you. That's the call of God upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. More than the business you are doing, may the grace of God rest on you. My dear, look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I speak even over your family. Shani Sanakusia. I'm seeing a chain around your hand. In the name that is above all names, right now, I decree as is happening to her, I pray over someone. The chain that has tied down the productivity of every family, every destiny. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, may that be loose right now. Be loose right now. Be loose right now. Be loose right now. And for this gentleman, I pray for you. May the Lord show you mercy. In the name of Jesus. Uzo Chuku. Uzo Chuku. Uzo Chuku. Palaske Shani Shela Who is that? Uzo Chuku. What does that mean? God's way. Who is Uzo Chuku? Huh? Her brother. You too. Where is he? This person, your brother, he's not here. He's in the overflow. Is that true? It's outside the country. Outside the country. No, I'm saying the person I'm seeing is in an overflow. Uzochuku. There is an Uzochuku outside. That's I'm not saying. Is there someone like that? I'm going to pray for you, but the one I'm seeing, you are in an overflow. If you find him, let him run. His salvation has come. What please verify? What's your name? Uzochuku. I will don't worry, don't feel embarrassed that you're not. I will pray for you. What he says to one, he says to all. My friend, look at me. I'm hearing the sound of a baby. Please listen. I'm hearing the sound like the cry of a baby. This is a family that has been trusting God. They have prayed, they have prayed, they have prayed, they have prayed. I don't know where that family is, but the power of God is touching someone right now. I hope you believe what God is doing. I'm still hearing the cry of a baby. Lord, I don't know what family this is, but in the name of Jesus, help has come for you. Help has come for you by the Spirit of God. Huh? No, no, you don't you don't have to come out. I'm going to pray for you. But what, Mama? You are standing for yourself. Your daughter. 
Okay, where is she? Your daughter-in-law is here. Yes. Trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Yes. How long? For one year plus. Mama, what of you? Uh, five years. Another one is four years. Two of my daughters. Don't worry. You don't have to come out. I can imagine that there are several people. Just wherever you are, God is going to touch you. We're going to pray for the sick now. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. You are the Uzo Chukus from Overflow. In the name of Jesus, Father, I am praying right now that everything that represents captivity in the name of Jesus, right now for the Uzochukus, I curse it by the power of God. I release you right now. Go and experience the hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ. They don't have to, um, please, except we ask them to come. If not, we'll make the place rowdy. But since they are there, they are mothers. Mama, I pray for you, eh? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will wipe your tears. Yeah. He will give your children miracles, yeah. even by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please let them go. I want to pray for the sick right now. But how many of you believe you actually can be free from demons? Put your hand down how many of you believe your family can be free i hope you know that you are not really free until that salvation gets to your family hallelujah i truly believe in the liberty of the saints that the power of god is able to set people free with proof and results agnes 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 like a g n e s agnes i just heard that name i'm going to pray for the sick right now but i'll minister deliverance why do i minister the power of god to set people free because in every gathering i tell you there are people who they may be laughing and singing and dancing but it's everyone that knows where the shoe is hurting. There are people as they are standing here, they are saying, Lord, I didn't come for this conference to waste my time. Visit me and give my family a testimony. There's somebody who sells cement. Cement. I just saw bags of cement. It's like a business that you do you sell cement. Why is she here? Agnes is your name. Where are you from, my dear? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. I decree and declare that everything that is not of God, you're Agnes too. Don't cry. Don't cry. The Lord is giving you a new song. In the name of Jesus, a new song. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. He says, many will see and fear and put their trust in him. This is what happens when the Holy Spirit is there. Bring the mercy. Let it be a new season the power of the Holy Spirit let it be a new season in the name of Jesus Christ please help them in the name of Jesus Christ why why is he just on shots is that how he came is that how he came in the name of Jesus Christ just cover the cloth somewhere in the mighty name of Jesus I minister deliverance right now now I'm about to pray. Listen. Spirits don't just rest upon men. Spirits can rest upon conditions and situations. When a spirit is upon a situation, it will act unusually. For instance, a financial situation, a spirit can come upon it. It's not only men spirits possess. They can possess conditions, economic conditions, marital conditions any kind of condition so in administering the power of god in the presence of the holy spirit is not only from men we are exiting the spirits we are also exiting them from conditions 
when you are supposed to get a job and everything is there and someone promises you and you never get the job there is a spirit in that condition are we together can i pray for you now as i speak i know that here is limited please don't inconvenience those who are in front but i'm going to request that you bring those under the anointing out as i minister to them it's time for their liberty at the count of three i'm going to ask you to shout the name jesus don't get used to it i know you've shouted it many times we don't shout it as a ritual but listen let me tell you the truth i'm seeing a sword what looks like a knife a sword is piercing into people and situations and families that sword represents the word of god at the count of three everything that does not name the name of christ as you shout the name that is above every other name it must give way whether you are outside all of the overflows or anywhere it's time for you to be free those of you in front here i declare your liberty so that you clear the way in the name of jesus be completely healed right now in jesus name and may the lord visit you everything that represents a limitation in your life say amen i curse it right now it must let you go right now in jesus name now let's pray father the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and that the sons of Jacob will possess their possession. There are people, there are families, there are individuals who have been tied down. There are destinies that will not lift up their heads. Right now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, may that fire that proceeds from his throne, that brings deliverance. Please, whether you are an usher or not, anybody who is under the anointing, please help to bring them out right now. At the count of three, one, my goodness, two, three, shout Jesus. I command liberty, 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 liberty. By the spirit of the living God, I decree and I prophesy, liberty, 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 shapes ketar. A Kreketos Kiata that they might be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified in the name of Jesus. We are still going to shout that name. My goodness, bring them out. I'm seeing fire falling. Lord, every family here that needs to be free from age-long captivities, as you are shouting, that fire will rest upon every altar. One two three shout jesus every family tied down by demonic orchestrations we bring you liberty we bring you liberty we bring you liberty this man that man wearing suit come this man yes please bring them out something is happening what do you do sir huh? <laughs> I work with EFC you work with EFCC I'm going to pray for you I saw you climbing a ladder in the realm of the spirit and every time God shows me that that is a sign of increase and lifting can I pray for you sir in the name of Jesus I decree and declare over you please hear me write this between now and November God is going to shift you in a way that will surprise you I release that grace upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ let it be a new season for you by the power of the Holy Spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit the spirit of delay ah, ah, ah. that anointing is coming right now as I mentioned the cases is leaving you right now delay 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 I cost you I cost you I cost you delay of any kind my goodness I just I hope they are not injuring themselves hallelujah the overflow here 
what's it called the tent is this the tent the of the smaller tent i want you to lift your hands those in that tent please lift up your hands those in that tent i'm seeing the power of god fall on people there at the count of three in that tent i want you to shout jesus and i want you to bring out those under the anointing you don't have to bring them in here father you reveal to me to pray for those at that tent i decree and declare right now the tent there one two three shout jesus Liberty, even by the Spirit. Liberty. Now, please hear me. The Lord is revealing to me there are people here, anything given to you, you will lose it. Whether it is relationships, when good things come into your life, they don't last. I want to pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Everything that has left you, that should not have left you, I call upon my God, let it be restored now. Let it be restored now. Let it be restored now. 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 I want to pray for the sick but the Lord is already revealing to me to impart some graces there are three anointings that God is revealing number one is the spirit of prophetic revelation and I'm, I'm going to pray and that anointing is resting on some people male and female not everyone but there are specific people you have been working with God access to us father i don't know where they are inside and outside you have that call and that mandate i prophesy now at the count of three may that fire come upon you prophetic revelation one two three take that grace now take that grace now help this woman take that grace now take that grace now prophetic revelation I bring you, I call you by prophecy into that dimension, the eyes that see and the ears that hear. Prophetic revelation, so that you will bring the precepts of God with accuracy and with precision. Hear me, although we are here in Enugu, the truth about it is that there are people your destiny is not in this city you have been around this city but your the geography of your assignment is in another region not here some of you even outside this region i prophesy to you anywhere you need to be to fulfill purpose right now whether ministerially financially maritally receive that grace right now I relocate you to the place of destiny. I relocate you to the geography of your witness. The spirit of untimely death. The spirit of untimely death. The Lord is showing me patterns. Every year, someone must die. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every three, three years, someone must die. I want to judge that altar by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, every manifestation of untimely death over your life and over your family, it is judged right now in Jesus' name. It is judged right now in Jesus' name. I'm ready to pray for the sick now. 
no one Jesus there is no one darling there is no one Jesus there is no about to pray for the sick there is a man of God here the nature of your call demands that you work greatly in the healing anointing and I'm seeing because I just saw oil dripping on the ground and the Lord told me it is the healing grace I'm going to pray for the sick but there is a man of God here the absence of the healing anointing is limiting the quality and the strength of your ministry I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands no no you don't have to come out since I didn't call you don't worry you can stand where you are and receive in the name of Jesus father everyone who is called into the healing ministry and I said it the last time I was in this city, God has revealed to me that before Christ returns, there will be a mighty move of the healing ministry again. We have not seen the healing ministry as our fathers. So we've seen pockets of it here and there, but there will be such a move, the healing ministry, authentic, genuine healing ministry. I pray right now. I don't know that man of God. But in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hand. Man of God there does not just mean male. Male and female all together. I hope you know that women have a major end time role to play. A major end time role. There are women who will come in the spirit and the power of Elijah. And will do mighty things across regions. It is true. They will defy the prejudices of gender and race and God will use them mightily and gloriously. I'm praying right now. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. Not afraid. Everyone to carry this healing anointing. At the count of three, I declare, like oil may it rest upon you now. One, two, get ready now. Get ready. Three, take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus, may your hands be anointed. You will lay hands on the sick and you will watch the wonder working power of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare through your hands and through your ministry, may the Lord do mighty things mighty things mighty things now please hear me we are going to do this very fast and I want you to please participate I'm about to pray for the sick do not allow any situation that you came here with to remain as you go mm -mm. It was Archbishop Benson Idahosa who said, if your faith says yes, God will not say no. I'm about to pray for the sick. And please hear me. I want you to lay your hands right now where you are trusting God for a miracle. Believe that you will be healed. And then, if you are standing in for someone, whether for those following online, or you have a loved one like our mothers came here to stand in for their loved ones I'm going to pray and the power of God will rest upon you the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you 
I'm going to give you an opportunity whether you are in the overflow at the other side of the road or this one by my right or you know up the balcony or here will give you room to quickly come and stand either to my left or to my right we'll take a few testimonies and then I will pray on your request and speak over you and then we'll wrap up lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest father you mandated us to go and heal the sick you mandated us to cast out devils to raise the dead as we declare the authority and the supremacy of your kingdom spirit of the living god we thank you for your presence that is in this place and across the nations by way of the internet i pray right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god everyone here who is sick by the power that raised Christ from the dead I declare that the spirit that is back of that infirmity the spirit that is back of that condition in the name of Jesus you give way now shout a loud amen now I declare in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed of blood conditions now someone is I, I don't know but it's, it's, it's a messy scene I'm seeing in my vision someone will start vomiting like throwing out something and that will be the end of it I'm seeing an infirmity this is a demonic thing in the name of Jesus I decree and declare any eye condition by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed now every bone condition bone condition affecting your walking in Jesus name let life surge to your limbs now everything affecting your walk whether a spinal cord issue we correct it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit there are a number of ladies I'm seeing in my vision having all kinds of growths and lumps please believe that God heals in the name of Jesus Christ I declare right now let that demonic growth leave your body now there's someone it's like you have a problem with your toe this is what I'm seeing in my vision you have a problem with your toe I don't know what that problem is but in the name of Jesus I command that that demonic pain to leave now There was someone you couldn't see very far it's not like you are blind but you couldn't see far as soon as i pray now you check it and you find out that your vision has been restored in the name of jesus please don't be embarrassed i'm praying for you i'm looking at a lady and all of a sudden one of your breasts began to swell up unusually and you are afraid this is like a demonic thing in the name of Jesus it will shrink back now we cast that devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you started having this problem when you wake up in the morning your neck is as if you cannot move it well and it's been months right now you can't move your neck there's severe excruciating pain I declare that pain leaves you now that pain leaves you now the Lord is showing me someone when you eat especially food that is oily you find out that in a short while you will throw up you will start feeling like you you want to throw up and you will throw up in the name of Jesus I bring you liberty now HIV be healed cancer it doesn't matter what stage be healed now There is a gentleman you have been suffering from pile in the name of Jesus Christ excruciating pain even when you are not going to the toilet just when you are sitting 
excruciating pain in Jesus name the Lord is bringing life to your body now someone you could not lift your hands very well you're already having is like symptoms of arthritis or stroke you know in the name of Jesus Christ I command healing for you now now please hear me whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God be healed now be healed now the Lord is showing me a woman is not barrenness but when you take in it does not stay more than three months you will have a dream something will happen a man comes to oppress you and that's it it just leaves in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who that person is but that condition right now it comes to a permanent end it's only that you look and leave look and leave my brother leave look to Jesus Christ and leave is recorded in his word hallelujah it's only that you look now i want you to begin to check yourself look at this the collarbone here the power of god is touching someone right now that collarbone in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone i don't know if you are here or maybe following online or it's just my vision god is showing me you have a child that is suffering from autism autism in the name of jesus christ the power of god is touching that child right now autism autism be healed now your your son your sister son in the name of jesus wherever the boy is we declare that you'll be healed now now i want you to check yourself the moment a miracle has happened to you check yourself and make your way to the front right now come and stand here or stand here while we're doing that i'm going to give you two prayer points you're going to pray it right now let's celebrate them people are coming in the name of jesus christ check yourself if you're outside and the power of god has touched you and you want to make your way to the front let the ushers allow you doesn't matter what overflow I'm about to pray for you are you celebrating miracles the power of God is touching people check yourself check yourself let's have a pastor or two can we have a few people check them now whilst they are coming I want you to pray that in the name of Jesus every door and every gate connected to the next season of my destiny I declare that you are open now open your mouth and begin to pray please take it serious this is a miracle service every door doors are systems of access they midwife rooms they midwife dimensions every gate and every door are you praying connected to the next level and the next season of my life I decree and I declare I decree and I declare I decree and I declare be open for me right now I decree and I declare I decree and I declare my God are you seeing miracles people are coming people are coming pray God is opening doors
me know when you are ready for the testimonies let's just have a mic or two the last prayer point i'm going to give you and then we'll receive the testimonies are you ready now i told you that the help of god comes as his mercy as the gift of men and as the holy spirit i like you to pray that everyone whose help is connected to your destiny between now and the end of september by the power of prophecy they must gravitate to your life open your mouth and begin to pray please pray please pray everyone whose help and ministry is connected to my life connected to my destiny i declare that they gravitate towards me right now your name is to be alone in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please be seated for a few minutes be sensitive now yes please very quickly very quickly your testimony let's do that very fast Hallelujah. I have been having this please can we have a bit of volume on this mic I've been having this waist pain you've been having waist pain yes for how long for four years four now. years four years now. what happened to you now Waist pain. Bend. Any pain. Any pain. Any pain. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Waist pain gone forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. I came here with um, difficulty in breathing. And I difficulty just, in breathing. breathing. So I just fell under anointing and I just got up. And you I fell under the anointing. Fine. And right now, fine. breathe in and out. Completely gone. Can you imagine? Listen. Did you know? Listen, listen, listen. Look how many people God is touching. Do you know that sometimes, look at a lady, she comes having this problem, and what happens is she falls under the anointing, and that's the end of it. This is how someone will go to bed, and this spirit will oppress them, and they never wake up. Never wake up. Place your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare it remains permanent permanent in jesus name go and walk in the liberty of jesus yes so, please sir, this woman happens to have had healing from two of the cases that you mentioned two of the cases yes, the one on the foot you remember talking about somebody that had um, you know a pain on the okay foot. the foot so let her talk and then the okay i woke up last month with that i can i was not unable to oh my, my right now what happened to you I, I, turn it go ahead let the devil see you turn it You couldn't do this yes. for how long? For one month now. I just woke up and I could not. In the I name of praying. Jesus Christ, your healing remains permanent. God bless you. Yes, please, very quickly. Praise the Lord. Since two years now, I've been having a serious chest pain. So immediately I was playing, I felt something, a burning sensation. Then I didn't feel the pain again. And it just left. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. Two days ago, I um, woke, woke up with a uh, neck pain. And, you know, I just thought it was a joke. But that night when I went to bed, um, I woke up to ease myself around 12 in the night and realized that I couldn't get up. So I felt trapped. You couldn't in my get up? Wow. I couldn't get up. The, the pain um, went from my neck all the way down to yes. my back. And I felt like I was trapped in my body and all that. And right and now? Right now, it's gone. I couldn't completely, oh, completely, completely. No pain. Well. no pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, it I, lift it now. I'm able to lift it. Lift it. Yes. Lift it again. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Um, for 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 some months now, I've had um, problems with my knee. Your knee? Yes, my okay. both knees. Um, I could not flex my knees for a, sustained, for a sustained period of time. Okay. But now it's possible. And then I walked in here with back pain. But even before we prayed, the back pain left. Completely. In Jesus' name, this knee condition, we curse it. It will never return to you again. Yes, please. Go ahead. Hallelujah. I've been having pains on my shoulder for months now. 
And when the man of God was praying, the pens disappeared. Completely gone. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. It's gone forever. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. For some months now, I could not be able to shift my chest like this. It seems as if there is block inside my chest. But right now, I check can't. yourself. And do like it's this. completely gone. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, it will never return again. Quickly. Praise the Lord. Um, so while you were praying for pastors, my dad is actually a pastor. For the past four years, my dad has been diagnosed with Parkinson and partial stroke. So while you were praying, I just called and then I put the phone on the speaker and then he was responding, Amen. All of a sudden, his voice ceased and then I told my sister to tell me what was happening. He said he said a feeling vibration. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hallelujah. I didn't even hear what she said. Honestly, the Lord was showing me something else. What did you say? My, when you were praying for the pastors, my dad had been diagnosed of Parkinson's since the um, last Parkinson's. four years. Parkinson's? Yes, sir. And then with partial stroke, he has not been able to preach all the way. And he's a pastor. And he's a pastor. Right now, what happened? <laughs> Why are you were praying? I called and I put the phone on speaker. And all of a sudden, his voice ceased. And then I told my sister to tell me what was happening. And then she said he started shivering. And then he, he started moving his body. He started moving his body. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me tell you, listen. As soon as as soon as she started talking the lord opened my eyes and i was seeing something else that was why i was not i just saw a word congratulations listen and as soon as i saw that word congratulations i had this song hey bezina help me Chuku make sense but blessed is she that believes you can believe this and receive it and you will be surprised some of you right here in church even before you come out someone will just call you and say congratulations hallelujah yes please go ahead No, 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 don't hold the mic straight to the point. We may not I, be able to, okay. I had an accident. You had an accident. This is five years ago. And, uh, How long? I five have years. Two and pens. what happened? I have two pains and they refused to go, but as uh, you were minister, I prayed and I can't feel the pain anymore. In the name of Jesus, it leaves you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hold on. Stand up. Where is the child? Is she okay? How long has she been a widow? Uh, have you been a widow? My husband died last two months, July, but he was buried last month, 31st of August. So, what happened that you couldn't pay the child's school fees? I hope he died without leaving anything for us. What of you, madam? Don't be embarrassed. I didn't call you to embarrass. Died last two years. Two years. And you could not afford your child's school fees? Been difficult, sir. Why? I'm not really doing anything and he did anything for us. You came from where? Here is, sir. You believe in miracles? Yes, sir. I'm going to pray for you because when I saw that, the Lord asked me to give you the school fees of the child. 
this is not this is not some showmanship we're not interested in all that it's just to tell you that no matter where you are you see god uses people to show you what he can do how does a woman sit down like this a program is happening and in the sincerity of her heart she said my own problem is i came newe is um from an number how many hours that's what i'm give me an example yeah, and that's about four hours and she came and sat outside not knowing anybody and yet god picks her and decides to wipe her tears this is an example to tell you that you can be anywhere and god can come to you and reach you and wipe your tears are we together don't say i do not know any man remember the helper the helper so please um let me see these two people after service eh? may god bless you in the name of jesus christ let's take one or two one or two of the testimonies we have to hurry up our time is gone please let's take any two two or three yes please go ahead so i've been trusting god for healing i've been having a severe pain since it started last severe year. pain yes for how yeah. long for last year as of last year and so, right now what happened immediately i was praying this thing just stopped completely yes, in the name of jesus that pain leaves you never to return to you again in jesus name let's celebrate her yes please praise the lord i've been having this pain my left shoulder you and notice comes, that most of the miracles have to do with pain 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 let me tell you this when you see the lord doing the same thing it is a message he's bringing remember help i taught you has to do with taking away making things easy and notice that most of the pain has to do with the shoulder the shoulder is where you carry load it's a message god is speaking that I'm taking away burdens, I'm taking away loads, and I prophesy to someone's life tonight, in the name of Jesus, may the God of heaven arise in his power, and take away every luggage that has been placed by the devil over your life. And the pain used to be seasonal, it's been years now, for some time I will start feeling it. And, and, and right now it's gone. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Let that man and that woman be the last. My apologies. I will, Praise I will. the Lord. For past, like, for past three months. I'd like I to hear this wasting. lady's testimony. So okay. Last month, I can't even. What happened to you? My waist is paying me for past three months. And right now, what happened? Right now, I can't. Completely. Look at this. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Yes, please. I've, I had pain, excruciating pain on my neck. I came here with serious pain this evening. Even the drugs I took couldn't help me. But as the prayer was going on for the sick, I'm free. Completely. No pain again. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you. This lady seems pressed on her testimony. What happened to you? I came here with my lens. This is my lens. I don't see very well without this lens. And the last time I went to Chicago, my doctor said that if I don't go for glaucoma eye surgery, I'm going to go blind. And again, I'm a widow with two sons. If I go blind without my husband, I don't even know how to take care of my children. And what now, happened to you? Now, after receiving the deliverance, Helen, I was at the other side. I have to walk from there without this lens to here. Look at this. Pastor, thank you for this conference. In your obedience is someone's salvation. In your obedience is someone's healing in your obedience is someone's restoration look what has happened to this woman do you know what it means to come to church and go back those who saw you going to church you return back what happened i went to the house of god what happened there i met god the god of the bible in the name of jesus my dear it will never return to you again 
your healing remains permanent in Jesus name yes please let me have one more person and then I pray this woman is each in goodness we're working with time you have a testimony okay come let me just my apologies not just creating superiority but let me just hear what what's the testimony praise God I'm having high blood pressure since uh, 13 years I lost my husband I'm since taking, 13 years yes, I'm taking drugs on April I just noticed that my system changed so my sugar level I didn't get sugar level for since the April the thing just shoot up to 381 from huh? since that then I'm visiting hospital of uh, uh, UNTH now they now say I should do test of uh, liver they say the liver enlarged and it's dropping since there I'm having pains here but after that uh, prayer the pains has gone from here I feel what here and after return back to God who will take care of my six children if I die I say God thank you for what he has done thank you Jesus in the name of Jesus you have no business with death this healing remains permanent and i cause any spirit behind any pain in jesus name i pray for the sake of time you have a testimony oh dear you see my people you see how why miracle services usually okay let's let's just allow Hi, this time testimony sir i came to see you in abuja my miracle service with this baby he wasn't talking he didn't hold his neck from bed Baby has been walking before we came. Oh, you went to Abuja? Yes, yeah, made miracle service. And you saw us around 12, eight, mid, 12 midnight. You prayed and said there should be restoration. When we were coming back, my husband called and he said hello. Other people were receiving calls. If you hear a phone call, he will say hello, hello. The therapist that are seeing him say that he's now due to start a regular school and mix up with other children. Oh, dear. <laughs> That, he, that, that he's improving that he's improving that his speech is improving I just want to in, say in the thank name you of Jesus, Jesus Christ you see for you to appreciate a miracle you have to put yourself in the shoes of the people are we together you do not know how inconveniencing by the privilege of God's grace and what I do there are people when you see their conditions even after prayer you feel like weeping because the Lord the load that their family members especially maybe issues that relate to autism and all of these things may God keep anointing mighty men in Enugu state who will continue to do the work of healing of power of restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I pray amen and amen for the sake of time let me just speak oh dear look at there are so many people begging to testify would you forgive me if if we allow now here's what will happen here's what will happen it doesn't matter whether you testify in this session or any other session the most important thing is to know that god has done this so i may i plead with any of maybe any official so that at least we honor them for coming to stand so long to testify who is that one lifting a phone what happened Oh, you were healed the person on the phone from where he's in where no 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 you don't have to go with the mic huh in the village for you and everyone who has been touched by the power of God I decree in the name of Jesus your miracles remain permanent you will experience the grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ Please, everybody stand. Everybody stand. Everybody stand. Please stand, everyone. There are just two things I want to do. Thank you for your patience. Number one. I began to speak to you and I told you that the Holy Spirit has a ministry to non-believers. A non-believer or a non-believer is one who has not had a personal encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. And there are thousands of people all across this arena and environs. And many of them are saying, Apostle, I know 
hearing you teach about the Holy Spirit I have not allowed him to carry out his ministry that noble ministry in my life and as it is right now I cannot really say I am saved or you are saying apostle I remember giving my life to Jesus Christ but as it is right now I cannot sincerely say my relationship is fine with him you may be in the main auditorium here up the balcony or any of the tents or you may be falling online by way of television by way of the internet or even by way of rebroadcast it does not matter we cannot end this meeting without giving you an opportunity to make jesus lord of your life listen it pays to serve jesus and it pays to love jesus and to give surrender your entire life to him you've tried other options lesser and by far more inferior options give him a chance to fix your life and indeed to help you the bible says when we are saved we are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son i'm going to make an altar call and we just have two minutes for you before i speak over your life and we're done you are in this auditorium you're outside i'm going to count one to five and as i begin to count i want you to run and come and stand here the moment this place is filled then you will make use of your led screens wherever you are you need to make it right with jesus i don't expect you to be thinking about it by now you should know run like there's fire on the mountain i begin my counting now please when you come don't kneel stand for the sake of space one are we celebrating salvation two sure you are coming to Jesus genuinely he can give you a new beginning four someone is still running to Jesus for those of you who are making this decision from across the world or from a location that is outside this place there's a whatsapp number that is projected if you follow your screen you are to send new life to that number on whatsapp let us know you can send your name and probably your number and your address so that they get to know and then there are a few counselors who can reach you please make sure you are receiving the card there's a salvation card that the counselors are giving wave your hands if you don't have one so that they pass it to you very quickly Please counsel us. Let's get it across to them very quickly because I want to lead them to pray. This is the greatest miracle here, literally. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to lead you to pray this prayer. If, if the front is, is filled, just, just stand across the aisles. Don't worry. The most important thing is your decision. May I request that you lift your right hand this card you would be requested to fill it please do so very legibly you may not have the opportunity to fill it right now i'm not sure um do well to just fill it make sure that you hand it over with all the details required before you leave you can hand it to the officials but for now please stop any feeling just lift your hands and whether you are outside or inside lift your hand and say this loud and clear let it be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus tonight i need you i have heard your word that you are able to help me i ask you to help me right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backward never amen 
keep your hands lifted father we thank you because the bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away these ones have come declaring their faith in you i declare by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven and in the name of jesus i call you bona fide recipients of eternal life in the name of jesus i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit may you be grounded and established in righteousness in the name of jesus you go forward ever and backward never for in jesus name we pray just a moment okay. praise the lord now please because it's late we can't have a meeting together but oh, please take this number send your name and a new life to that number and come for the meeting tomorrow come for the meeting on saturday on sunday after the service i'll be having lunch with every one of you immediately after the service we have one service combined service on sunday and after then i'll personally meet with every one of you we'll have lunch together and then we're going to share a lot of things with you but the only way you can sustain what you have done now please be here tomorrow be here on saturday and if you can make it on sunday and then we'll talk after then but please do make sure you send your whatsapp number or send your details to this whatsapp number and just new life xyz and so on with your name god bless you please rise god bless you return back to your seat rejoicing everyone stand as we wrap up please can you sing that song for me Anansi, hallelujah. Anansi, hallelujah. want to speak over your life prophetic speakings are very powerful in the name of Jesus I pray for you everything that has kept you on the ground in life and destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead I release help for you to begin to soar in the name of Jesus Christ for those of you who are in need of the mercy of God to speak in any area of your life silencing the legal accusations of darkness and keeping you in a position where you are a victim may the blood speak over you now may the blood speak for you now may the blood speak concerning you now number two i pray for you every destiny helper and every prophetic relationship that must be introduced in your life in this season for the sake of your rising and your excelling i expose you to such persons in the name of jesus finally i pray for you your relationship with the holy spirit that includes your prayer life that includes your word study life that includes your life of fasting and consecration in the name of jesus christ life to your prayer altar life to your word study altar in the name of jesus christ may the ministry of the holy spirit be real to you and in jesus name i stand here under the combined grace of myself jerry Eze, reverend Zimwa, and your pastor and the father the shepherd over this house reverend edwin and we speak to you as a united force rise to a new dimension rise to a new season in the name of jesus christ that by this time next year everyone will see that the lord has shown you mercy for in jesus name we pray may the lord bless you and may the lord increase you there are sicknesses in your body can i tell you we are in the days where headache can become cancer thanks to demons you will feel a little headache something that you will just say ah, it's paining me the next time the pain goes to this side then it goes to another place unconnected i'm not a doctor but you will know this is a demon spirit you hear people telling you there's something roaming around my body have you heard people say that it starts from my head you know how hard it is to move around your body even god had to put veins and arteries and here is a demon spirit walking around freely until you stop it by the power of the holy ghost 
how about businesses that are going down from January your business has been going down and you've just been watching it thank God for principles listen we are people of principles and we're intelligent people but we are people who place superior honor to the realm of the spirit the physical realm is a child a slave helpless slave to the realm of the spirit if you do not deal with things spiritually whatever effort you are making physically is a total waste of time I assure you if you're in ministry here as a man of God it is not just by invitation poster social media those are physical things and they are profitable the real victories in the realm of the spirit Apostle, why is it that people do not like me? I'm a sincere person. Every time someone wants to help me, they seem to forget. You think they make themselves forget? There are wicked spirits. What do you think made the wine presser to forget Joseph? And added two more years. One man's forgetfulness added another man's pain. Hallelujah. How about someone who just received some money that should bless the family? and wipe their tears and all of a sudden three people went down somebody needs a surgery five million another person needs a surgery eight million another person has a mysterious sickness that we must fly the person to uk to check you calculate everything is the exact same money you collected someone just wants to help you and the devil will masquerade and use certain faces in the dream to now come and appear as an angel of light and say don't help this person that person is carrying a familiar spirit and your destiny helper gets up in the morning in fear because the devil used your face or use something else to money and you find out that uh, let me tell you africa especially is a place where people respect the realm of the spirit someone can be a very intelligent person he goes to bed and the devil just uses your face you come with a knife in the dream supposedly to kill the person the person stands up and says oh so this is my enemy you go to the office the next day good afternoon sir you are leaving this job now what did i do no before you kill me i will kill you both of you are innocent there is a spirit joining this thing has happened even between husband and wife have you seen it happen that a man will go to sleep a wicked spirit will use the face of the wife and the man gets up and says, no, no way, not in this house. And the devil is just standing, stealing, killing, destroying. In the name of Jesus, tonight by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Paraka so pregete beleke tosi apaka karate kasana katabalaka in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit masquerading through situations and circumstances to abort the glory of God in your life goes down this night. Goes down this night. Goes down this night. The same way. The Lord can make it happen that someone goes to bed and suddenly he has a dream and it's about you. And the person is thirsty and you are bringing water. The person gets up in the morning and says, you, you got a job in this company when? Two weeks ago, come, you are promoted to my PA. What happened? I had a dream and I saw you giving me water. And in my mind, I interpret it to mean you are a good person. Ah, life. Do you know? I really feel sorry for people who downplay the realm of the spirit. I'm a person of principles. There are, it's not all about just demons and the realm of the spirit. But let me tell you, in order of priority, the physical realm came as the child of the realm of the spirit. That means for anything physical, it is only the after effect of something that has been settled in the spirit. Do you know a true story and then we'll begin to pray one time the lord opened my eyes and i saw something i saw someone who in the realm of the spirit he had already died but in the physical he was still walking he was still alive but in the realm of the spirit like this person has been buried in a coffin over now that person will be walking yet not knowing that you've been finished anything can kill you including a bike you just see that a bike pass and just hit someone and he fell down and they say both bones broke. Someone fell, children go to pluck mango from a tree. They fall from that tree and clean themselves and stand up and climb again. And yet someone just fell from a bike and both of his bones. You think that is just a fall? 
Listen, we are, God gave us a mind to think, but let's be careful so that we do not allow the devil cheat us by just folding our arms. When you see evil, call it for what it is and deal with it by the blood. Ah, what is this pain that I'm having? Mysterious pain. And the devil says, cancer like it happened to your father like it happened to this i said no it will not happen to me i went to school that's not how the realm of the spirit works you stand there listen there is a way you open fire at the devil huh you have drawn a line anything you permit will grow hear me anything you permit will grow you permit failure it grows you permit the spirit of death it takes one step towards your house you turn back in the name of jesus christ this is how believers are taught to maintain victory hallelujah apostle but you know the truth is that the way after the pandemic it affected everybody my business has gone down till tomorrow i agree and i sympathize with you but do you know that for your business to come back it is going to take the favor of god the blessing like i taught the ministry of men have you called the men no i'm sure that god will just make it happen whereas somebody in the midst of that pandemic held on to the horns of the altar and shouted the door for his new level to open up I don't know who is angry in this place tonight but in the name of Jesus I came here to release my faith with you that anything that does not name the name of Christ it must live your life now please open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of Jesus the son of the living God my life must be a capture of victory total victory total deliverance total liberation he who the son sets free is free indeed by the power of the holy ghost someone is praying every mysterious sickness roaming around my body i curse you by the god of heaven spirit of death i call you by your name and i banish you from my life banish you from my family banish you from my business someone is praying Hallelujah. 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 Now I'm going to lead you to pray the prayer that Jabez prayed. Number one, it says, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. As I mentioned them, I will lead you to pray. This is the miracle service. I want you to participate. If you want to hold hands with someone to encourage you, that is, you, you can do that. But by all means, any spirit of slumber that wants you to sleep or just fold your arms and watch people is cheating you. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare that by mercy, let your blessing rest upon me let your blessing rest upon me rest upon my family open your mouth and begin to pray the blessing of the lord that make it rich and added no sorrow the blessing of the lord that causes a man to prevail oh that thou wouldest bless me bless me bless me i activate the blessing upon my life i activate the blessing i decree and declare blessed in the city blessed in the country blessed in abuja blessed in lagos blessed in the united kingdom blessed in south africa 
blessed in the United States in the name of Jesus man of God pray pray the blessing of the Lord pray it upon your spirit pray it upon your children now pray it upon the works of your hands blessed shall thou be in the city blessed shall thou be in the country blessed shall be your needing trough go ahead and pray outside make sure you are praying all the overflows make sure you are praying in the name of jesus the blessing is upon me 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 speaking loud and clear speaking loud and clear speaking louder than any curse speaking that louder than any demonic thing The blessing is upon me, prospering the works of my hands. The blessing is upon me, manifesting as signs and wonders. The blessing is upon me, turning me into a mysterious sign and wonder. Blessing is upon me. Someone pray. Shaleke peketos kata frende ke barusiata. Embra kato kapres kate peketos. Sobanto shodo baleketos. Ibra to seveze kate peketos yata. For in Jesus' name we pray. Ah! For in Jesus' name we pray. I tell you things are shifting in the spirit now watch this do you know what allowed the flood to come what allowed the flood to come was that the blessing was withdrawn and was only it was completely withdrawn and that was the only possibility for the flood to come so when the flood was over watch this now when the flood was over, the flood of Noah now, remember? Everything and everyone except Noah, his wife, the three sons and their wives and the animals that were in the ark. Am I right on that? These were the only things that were alive. You find that Noah came out and then Noah reared an altar. You find that in Genesis chapter 8 and verse 21 and 22. He, he carried some of the animals that were left. Some of the animals came two by two. Some of the animals came seven by seven. You will see that even some that were left, Noah still slaughtered them and they died. But watch what happened. When God wanted the earth to increase again, give us Genesis chapter 9 and verse 1. I want to show you the power of the blessing. What did God do to Noah? Same thing he did to Adam. You see, and God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, be fruitful. Does that sound like something he had said before? multiply that means every time God sees small things what he does to increase them is to make this same thing keep this scripture there because this is going to be your prayer that means in God's mind what it means to be blessed is to be fruitful what it means to be blessed is to multiply what it means to be blessed is to replenish you are not blessed in God's mind until he sees fruitfulness, until he sees multiplication, until he sees the ability to replenish and to subdue. This is God's idea. Every time you hear him speaking a blessing, he will break it down and say, this is my idea of being blessed. Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. Are you ready to pray? We are still praying the blessing prayer. Say, Father, as a result of the blessing, that is upon me I speak to my destiny be fruitful multiply and replenish open your mouth and begin to pray I am blessed
blessed to be fruitful blessed to multiply nothing remains small in my life by the Spirit of God and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Koinonia and all those connected to her by prophecy and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Noah and his sons you can call the name of your children you can call the name of every company everyone who is under your care declare upon them be fruitful multiply be fruitful multiply replenish 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 Replenish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next prayer. I'm telling you something is shifting in your life. He said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. You want to understand this? Let's go to Isaiah 54 from verse 1 and 3. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that did not travail with child. He said, For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Verse 2. It says, Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtain of thy habitation. Spare not and lengthen thy cord and strengthen thy stakes. Why? Verse 3. Hallelujah. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Look at me. Do you know what it means to be enlarged? To be enlarged means to grow. That's how we grow. Is that true? We grow through enlargement. There are people who, respectfully speaking, I got to find out a few cases where some people remain children even in their, as adults. You still see them like children, like babies. It's a medical condition that people remain literally. You look at them, their face, nothing changes. There is no growth. There is no enlargement. Yet some of them are 25, 30 years, and they, are, see, they have the voice of children, everything around them. And when we talk of enlargement, we're not just talking of physical growth, financial growth, spiritual growth. The level of grace you've been functioning on for 10 years is still the same. The level of favor is still the same. Did the Bible not say grace and peace can be multiplied? Are you ready to pray that prayer of enlargement? That Father, I'm tired of being at this level for a long time. Enlarge me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Spiritually. This level of my prayer life, this level of my word study life, someone is praying, enlarge me by the spirit of the living God. Enlarge me in ministry. Enlarge me. Shapakato parakato shafragates. Krasagata farasko sebelegos. Embrakato shafrandes kalebash. Krateke belegates sefraskati balakos yata. Enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast, enlarge coin on here, enlarge coin on here, enlarge my spiritual life, enlarge every aspect of my life in the name of Jesus Christ.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Don't be tired, you'll soon sit down. But listen, please look at me. What is the difference between a one room and a duplex? What is the difference? Space. Am I right on that? What is the difference between a great duplex and a mansion, as you call it? Space. What you can do in a one room, what you cannot do in a one room, you are able to do it in a duplex. Am I right on that? Now, just respectfully speaking, if you have one room, everything is there. The kitchen is there. The whatever is there. Are we together? Smallness has the characteristic effect of constraint. It does not give you the opportunity to be efficient. Are we together now? So imagine that you move from one room to a two bedroom. Now you can convert one maybe to be a library, one to be a guest room. Have you seen people now, respectfully speaking, have you seen for instance, say a couple, a husband and a wife, and maybe two children, and all they have is one room. You've seen what happens in the night. The father is constrained. Maybe he even has to sleep on a chair for the wife and maybe the children and maybe the little baby. You see that now? Did you not read in your Bible that Solomon was judging a case of two prostitutes where because of the constraint of space, they slept on their visions and one killed, they killed their children because of lack of space. Let me tell you, enlargement is a blessing. What 10,000 cannot do, 1 million can do. Are we together now? Yes. Oh, my man needs to be treated and the bill is 200,000. And that innocent woman is about to die because all you have is 10,000. But when God enlarges you, you have more space. You can even be a blessing. What this level of anointing can do, cannot do, this level of anointing can do. Are we together now? Yes. This level of anointing can only lead you to pastor 50 members. Not to insult, but that is what it can do. It cannot bring you a global ministry this way. No. No. You cannot put the tire of a tricycle on a tractor or a, a bulldozer or a lorry. Can that work? But they are all tires. So when you bring that small tire, how many of you have seen spare tires of cars that look very small? Because you were not supposed to drive with it for a long time. It's only sufficient to take you to the mechanic. You see some of these giant cars and they come with enlarged tires. And sometimes when smaller cars are struggling because of the pothole, those cars can come and pass as if they are not even aware that's what enlargement does when you are limited when you are constrained five children you are living on 50,000 it's not a blessing oh let me tell you the truth not in our world today you are anointed you pray you have to pray for one week for headache to go you can't have a ministry that is flourishing that way I told you people don't follow men they follow results when you are a man that commands that result, it will look like they are following you. But what they really follow are results. It takes a level of dedication and loyalty and training by God for people to look beyond results and now start following men. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge my... I've prayed this prayer many times. This ministry did not start like this. And this ministry will not remain like this because that grace for enlargement is there. So why is it that your life is remaining that way? One more time, I want you to refuse. Look at every area of your life that has refused to grow and declare, let that anointing for enlargement rest upon it. Open your mouth and pray one last time. Father, enlarge me by the spirit of the living God. Enlarge me by the spirit of the living God for the sake of your glory for the excellency of your name please pray
Hallelujah. Number three, let your hand be with me. Hallelujah. Let your hand be with me. Let your hand be with me. You are going to pray. This is what is responsible for advancement. This is what is responsible for speed. When the hand of the Lord comes upon men, they refuse to stay, not just at that level, but even in that location. It is God that moves men. When you find stagnancy, what you need is the hand of God. The hand of God moves men. The Bible says it was the Lord that caused Moses to advance. Shanika paruka tebash. Kratos ketebelekotia. Say, Father. One more time. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. By your hand. Advance me. By your hand. Advance my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. By your hand. By your hand, by your hand, advance me in ministry. By your hand, advance me in every area of life. Someone is praying. <laughs> advance me advance me by your spirit hallelujah 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 and with the last prayer point it will now lead me to begin to minister as fast as we can fire is going to begin to fall in this place now Give us the last prayer point. Keep me from evil. Listen. The psalmist said, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Is that true? Verse 2 says, Give us verse 2. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Verse 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, from the noisome pestilence. Verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feather, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be, and thy buckler. Verse 5. It says, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flyeth by day. Verse 6. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wasted at noonday. 7. A thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand by thy right side, but it shall not come nigh thee. Last verse. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Listen, do you know what it means for God to keep you? To keep you means, Lord, I will not die before my time. Amen. Hallelujah. I was listening to a video this morning by late Archbishop Benson Idahosa, and he was teaching somewhere in the States, and he was just sharing how that when God gave him an instruction in Benin then, and he went and he was praying and praying, and God gave him an instruction for seven days to go out every night at the roundabout alone and begin to pray and declare and say, Benin belongs to Jesus. And he said he prayed it, the spirit of fear came. What if you would die? He said in one of the days when you got there, he saw parts of animals that were caught and on them, his name was written there. Can I tell you? Saying I do not trouble anybody, nobody would trouble me is a joke. All it takes to be a victim of evil is to be born. The moment you find yourself here, you have to understand the warfare dimension of life. Are we together now? I'm saying this because many of you do not know. You are a man of God here. Yeah, I want you to listen. Daily, daily, 
there are demons and spirits it's only when we go to heaven that I will know how many shrines how many pots how many sacrifices carry my name daily but they'll continue to boil it as dinner lunch supper it, it will have no effect not because listen not because we are powerful on our own we have found from scripture that there is immunity in that name that there is immunity in that blood are you ready to pray now say father, father. by the blood of jesus the blood of, the blood of the, eternal the eternal covenant every covenant yes. Tying me, tying me to failure, to, failure, to, death, to death, to weakness, to, weakness, to, defeat, to defeat, right now, right now by, the by the blood, let it be broken. Yes. Open your mouth and pray. Every covenant, every covenant, tying me to death, witchcraft, Defeat, yokes, ordinances. Shepakato safra teke perekos yata. No matter how long be broken. No matter how long be broken. No matter how long be broken. Every covenant that says people will not rise that says people will not shine hallelujah hallelujah oh be lifted above all other God we lay our crown and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crown. Halabarabu. very sensitive listen there was a time in my life I have met angels I have encountered demon spirits by the privilege of God's grace I have encountered Jesus the living Christ the realm of the spirit is not an unfamiliar path I know a bit about how spiritual things work the first time I would encounter a demon spirit I was praying in the night somewhere in Zaria and there was a generator close to that place and I was praying and going close to that place and the next thing I moved here and there is a solid being standing this is not vision and the only thing he said was get back and when he said that, I looked and I spontaneously, I just blasted in tongues and like you are seeing this and you don't see it again. And I said, what is this? The next time I would have this, I was praying. I think I was in a period of fasting and praying or so. And then my room, the ceiling just disappeared. And then I'm seeing this giant creature it looks like a dinosaur very mighty the eyes will be like this the size of one man's head you can imagine my head being the eye so imagine how the head will be and it had a long tail 
but that tail had its own life that means you could detach the tail from the being and it will still be alive red eyes and it was looking at me and it says so you think you will how did what I can't even remember what so you think you will bring God's people into abundance I remember and I said ah so this is the spirit that sits upon men's destinies they don't know they think it's joblessness they think it's just family conflict they don't know that these are wicked spirits by reason of the apostolic and the prophetic call I have been exposed to visions I have encountered spirits some of the songs that you hear us sing I didn't write them these were songs that I heard from the realm of the spirit and I brought it down and wrote it so when you see me minister to people I'm not ministering from a standpoint of ignorance there are real spirits sitting on the destinies of men and they may not know ladies and gentlemen whoever told the woman who was bound for 18 years that there was an actual spirit holding her like that this woman kept going hoping that things would change if spirits can bind men can they bind businesses if spirits can they bind destinies and Jesus looks at the woman and says woman thou art loosed from your infirmity she did not even know what happened suddenly a spirit that has been comfortable for 18 years that woman would have remained like that some of you have had some conditions around your life um, it's like that I just feel dizzy sometimes I grew up like that you are like that woman that has been bound but Jesus came and he said no matter how long it has been the longest condition we know that a man has been in in the Bible was 38 years we don't know how long it took Job the Bible does not record time but at least we know that the longest recorded time where a man stayed in his tragedy was 38 years then there was 12 years but when Jesus came and said woman thou art loosed from your infirmity and then he laid hands and took that woman up and when the other people started talking stupid talk he said ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham whom Satan has bound lo all these years that means in Satan's economy time does not matter don't say after 10 years I will be free you will never be free because of the passage of time you will be free by the forceful manifestation of the power the name and the blood so listen I'm saying that so that as I begin to minister now will be very fast that every condition you know long-standing conditions don't tolerate it and say it's been there this bad luck has followed me since I was five years now I'm 50 years it's like that anytime people want to do things make sure it gives way this night the man was sitting at Bethesda John 5 the Bible says something happened there that every time an angel will come and stir the waters but the man had no one to help him and then Jesus comes to him the Bible says he was there for 38 years calls him an impotent man did his father not give him a name what was his name there are many of you your condition has swallowed your name that people only identify that guy that family that has bad luck as if they don't have a name that woman whose children are all miserable that one who's that that church that does not grow the impotent man and Jesus said no this is not how it works you notice all these sick people the Bible did not seem to care about their names because there's something about demonic oppression it it does not just ruin your life it ruins your name notice the woman with the issue of blood no name the man at blind Bartimaeus no name the man at the pool no name because every time the devil attacks among the many things he's looking for is your name your honor is in your name your reputation is in your name I'm saying this because I want to minister to people whose names have been diminishing you may not have something wrong with your life but your condition has swallowed up your name honor that God has given your family is about going down because it does not look it looks like there are conditions 
that have stained your name hallelujah every time you see kings rise the bible will always call their name even if they were given other names but when you find people plagued with conditions you hardly hear their names the woman with the issue of blood the man born blind the man at the pool blind Bartimaeus. the man who was sitting at gate beautiful look at that oppression among the many things it seeks to take away from you is your name because you see part of the blessing that God gave Abraham in Genesis 12 is a great name I will bless you and I will make your name great if you are great alone your children cannot be great because there's nothing for them to inherit when you go you go with your greatness but when your name is great anybody who comes under that name can continue being great today we mention names when you talk about names of you know American presidents great people today they are long gone you see but their names so when Satan wants to destroy you he does something to your name are you ready to pray so when you see me minister deliverance it's not just about people shouting and coming out and rolling under the anointing no 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 deliverance has nothing to do with shouting and rolling it's about taking authority are we together now that which is is fighting all of these things as I mentioned in your life they clear out of the way fighting your ministry your health your life and all of a sudden you will find out that after deliverance the Bible says there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession deliverance happens upon Mount Zion that is a proper place for deliverance I'm, I'm ready to pray now you will not do anything yet just just listen to me you see the thing with the anointing is that you have to wait on God you don't assume this is what the Lord is speaking to my ears and he's telling me now that as in this silence that the Spirit of God there are people and destinies that he wants to uproot things and the moment that happens the power of God is going to start moving please I want you to bring those people here you will not need to shout I'm the one who will just make a statement and uprooting I'm seeing like a weed you know how a farmer is removing weed this is what I'm saying father you have spoken and in the name of Jesus I declare that everyone under the sound of my voice please when you just bring those people out ushers or all those who need to help, help them let's make it very fast so that we'll finish on time in the name of Jesus Christ everyone who has had a planting in their life or their family that needs to be uprooted my God I'm seeing fire in this place in the name of Jesus right now let it be uprooted bring them out ah. whether you are an usher or not please help them if anyone is under the anointing close to you just bring them out so that we'll save time bring them out this is an instruction that the Holy Ghost gave you will never stand I'm telling you if, this, if there is if there is something to be uprooted there is an energy a, a force from heaven please bring them men and women my Bible says every tree that has not been planted by God that tree would be uprooted that's what God is doing right now uprooting by the Spirit of God uprooting by the Spirit of God you will marvel at the testimonies that follow uprooting things look at the wonder-working power of Jesus my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. My beloved is the most beautiful.
faithful among thousands. Bring them out. Yeshua. Hallelujah. Now, something mysterious is going to happen here now. There are people, watch this. I just saw fire through the congregation. Please help them. There are people who will start running. This is not speed. This is, this is a deliverance. But they will start running. Hold them and bring them to the front. This is not speed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the ministry of fire that everyone under any captivity in the name of Jesus Christ by this sign that God has given may the Lord himself begin to bring them out now bring them out now please help the ushers heba shaba sada veleketosh Oppression comes to an end by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me talk to those outside. Not the other overflows, just outside. Those outside, I want you to lift your hands. I want to pray for you. The Lord is showing me something. I want to pray for those outside right now. Lift your hands. At the count of three, those outside, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name Jesus, the hand of the Lord is going to come on a few people and there will be massive deliverance. Just the overflow outside. As I count three, I want you to shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I want you to carry those outside and bring them to the front by the spirit of the living God. God is doing a very marvelous work in their lives. Now, let me pray for everyone. Anyone here under the plague of witchcraft? Yokes of ancestry. You are about to shout the name Jesus. My God, I'm seeing fire falling already. Yokes of ancestry at the count of three shout that name Jesus one two three shout Jesus be released now 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 business is under siege families under siege destiny is under siege bring them out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Hallelujah. The Lord wants me to speak to the men. There are spirits that have tied men in many families so that they will not rise. It's like the men become the women and the women are the men. They have to depend on the women to feed. I'm seeing at least eight people with this case. Right now the fire of God is coming on all those men. Inside, outside, everywhere. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Every man be delivered now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every altar tying down men, tying down destinies. Give way now. Give way now.
give way now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name victory. 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 We don't have all the time. Um, my, my intention is for us to finish on time. So I'm not going to be doing too much of, um, but I'm hearing the name victory. Wherever that person, who is victory? Your name is victory. I want to pray for you. God has remembered your family. I release grace upon you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. God has remembered your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Abdullahi? I'm hearing a name. This, this is, I don't know if it's your name, your son name, but I'm hearing the name Abdullahi. Abdullahi, you would think that this is supposed to be another name. Abdullahi, I just heard that name. I don't know where that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, the mantle that has been looking for you, that is searching for your head, in Jesus' name, let it rest on you now. Yeah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, Rachel, I'm hearing the name Rachel. Please make sure you are organized. Don't, don't, don't cause confusion. Once, if I call you, if it's not your name, you can stand anywhere there. I, I'm going to pray for those in front. Rachel, who is Rachel? There is a family that God is delivering. Somebody is going to shout right now. Um, I'm seeing... I'm seeing a spirit because I'm seeing that this week that is coming, I'm seeing written obituary and there is a family. I'm not a prophet of doom. God sends, redeems. There is somebody right now, that spirit, in the name of Jesus. I know you by name and I declare, let that family go now. 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 The family of Rachel. Let that family go now. Let that family go now. Your father is a police officer. Your father is a police officer. Where is he? Where? Huh? Are you from the east? Yes, sir. Enugu? Yes, sir. Where is he? It's in Enugu. This is what God is revealing to me. Listen to me. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing something happening and they are going to fight some people, you know, people like are fighting and I'm seeing something that is not good. But in the name, I don't know you, oh my, my friend. And I'm not, you believe what I'm telling you? Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, you reveal to redeem. We, we are standing here, but in the name of Jesus, we pray that anything that wants to destroy, and I use him as a point of contact. Because what God says to one, he says to all. Anyone here, you have your loved ones, either in the police, DSS, military, air force. I declare supernatural preservation. Supernatural preservation. They shall not die. They shall not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, may the Lord preserve your father. In the name of Jesus. This lady kneeling down, lifting her hands. I'm seeing you wearing a police cap. Stand up. Who is it you or who? Is there anybody around your life? I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that will bring you to have any kind of demonic trouble that you need to go to the police station right now. I'm seeing fire from your feet to your head. I command it to give way now. Because I'm seeing a police cap on her head and I'm wondering what this is for. There's someone in the worship team. I just saw light. I don't know who that person is. The fire of God. The Lord is saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. This, this mystery of evil that has sat on your family is coming to an end. We declare it 
an end in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there is a mother here one of your prayer requests is for your daughter who has not given birth now I'm not saying if you are trusting God this is a mother who came and she's trusting for her daughter I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare you have come you have stood in for your daughter by the power that raised Christ from the dead let your daughter return with her children rejoicing now all those in front here I want to rebuke this wicked spirit by the power that raised Christ from the dead every legal access Satan has over your life I declare it is broken now and Satan I declare as one sent by God release your destinies now out of them now in the name of Jesus out of their destinies out of their lives by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing someone you have a very interesting condition you can snore from like if you are lying down there somebody who is a long distance from your place can hear you snore many people have told you this thing and you felt very I, I don't know why God is showing me this but it's a condition that God wants me to pray for you for so that one day you don't lie down and then don't, don't just wake up this is a serious medical condition is there someone like that the Lord is ministering that to me there's nothing to be embarrassed about I want to pray for that person and then number two very quickly madam thank you for your honesty thank you let's celebrate her takes a lot of courage please stand up madam I want to pray for you the devil is a liar how long has this been it's a long time very long time yes sir my friend, I want to pray for you. I don't know if there's a medical condition for it. I'm, I presume there might be. But my job is to do everything God has asked me to do. So I'm going to pray for you. The devil is a liar. That satanic thing must leave. Listen, to the silliest of things, huh? when you see God bring a word like this, is because someone's life depends on it. And for all of you who are here, thank you for This is a family of faith. You see, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. Father... Just, can you just make contact with your, your neck just as a point of contact? Father, you reveal to redeem. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands now. Let that demonic thing go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it leave never to return again. Something is leaving this guy, this guy on white. I'm seeing something like a rope on your neck. Out of him now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring you life. I bring you healing that choking feeling is not an ordinary snore like you are just snoring because you did not bend well this is a satanic thing and you don't pray for them they will go to bed one night and that's how it will be over for them but thanks be to God which causes us always to triumph in the name of Jesus let it be over now in Jesus name God bless you now I don't want you to feel embarrassed there are two cases that I want to pray for and then I pray for healing. The Lord is ministering this to me and I don't want you to feel bad. There are people, um, if, if you are to come out here, you have just two minutes to come out very quickly. Any and all kinds of satanic addictions, addictions that want to kill you, any kind of addiction whatsoever that has overwhelmed you and God has been speaking to you and you are saying apostle I want to break free from this I want to give you two minutes come and stand before the Lord right now while they are doing that let's begin to pray don't sit back there when you know that God wants to bring you victory once and for all drunkenness pornography masturbation every kind of addiction some of you maybe on some things that you take to be high addiction even stealing can be an addiction there are people who steal things they should not steal biro paper because of that you go to the police station it's not worth it so it's a spirit come once the space is full just stand where you are in fact you can stand there for now 
you can you can imagine this if this is all that we do today it was worth it great is your mercy towards me your loving kindness towards me your tender I see day after day Let me teach you a principle. Look up. Everything God gave man, God gave man control over. The moment you cannot control it again, a spirit has hijacked it. Are we together now? Now, we're asking this, our precious people to come and stand. We're not, listen, I don't want you to feel ashamed for whatever reason. No, you are standing before Jesus. This is the house of God. Addiction has nothing to do with whether you are good or bad. Some of the people standing here are some of the nicest people you can imagine. I have prayed for people who will steal anything. Even when you are holding hands praying, they will still carry something. It's a spirit. There are responsible people who are held bound. Some of these addictions you see have been transferred. And, and, and let me tell you this. God must raise people with this anointing and send them to the police force, the correctional centers, because there are people, no matter how long they stay there, what will really set them free is the power of God. So I celebrate all of you for summoning the courage to come. That's what Jabez did. He had to open up himself and say, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, you've been stealing, you've been stealing. You've been this and that. This is a lady that I'm seeing. There is nothing you cannot steal. And you know, I've told you, this thing works like word of knowledge. You can hide your money under the carpet. They will stand and look, look, and just go under the carpet and pick it. Parents, hear me. Some of this supposed stubbornness of children, is not like, it's a, it's a demon. Do you know that there are spirits that make children stubborn? The moment you say go left, that spirit will not let them rest till they go right. I want to pray for you. This is my work home. That demon, that satanic devil must leave you now. Our time is gone, but I'm going to pray for you. Father, these ones have come before you, the God of mercy and the God of all grace. Many of them have been tied down by all kinds of things. But the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. All kinds of addictions right now. Satan, I speak to every spirit that has been assigned to hold you down. Some of them are spirits of inheritance. Some of them all kinds of diabolic things. At the count of three, I declare you must let them go now. Now at the count of three, I'm going to release the power of God on you and that devil will live and live forever. Satan, take your hands of God's people at the count of three. One, two, three, out of their lives now. Be free, be free, be free, be free. I break the power of addiction. I break the power of addiction. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ out of their lives now make sure you are praying for them those who are in the congregation in the name of Jesus be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now listen many of you will come and stand here and testify and you will say finally God has given you freedom once and for all in the name of Jesus Christ Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, lay your hands, everyone who is trusting God for a healing miracle. Very quickly, I want you to lay your hands. Lay your hands there. 
and let's let's clear the way for those who are returning back so that they return back very quickly you are more than what people say you are more than what people say you are bigger than what people say you are bigger than what people say Jehovah you are good you are kind you are more than what people say Jehovah you are good Lay your hands and believe Jesus for a miracle right now. Please don't go back the way you came. Place your hand there. I want to pray for you. You've heard the testimonies of people by the power of the Holy Ghost. All kinds of satanic things. I'm about to pray for you right now. I'm seeing a lady who is coughing out something in a vision. I mean, just like somebody just coughing. I don't know what that is, but in the name of Jesus, already I pray for that person, that satanic planting in your body. Right now, I declare that it comes out now. Please lay your hands. I want to pray for you. You are good. You are kind. You are more than what people see. Father, you have granted us the grace to see the sick healed. Some of you are lifting up the pictures, lifting up your phones. I see people who are connecting. There are many, many, many hospitals. Did you know it's so humbling to know the amount of clinics, hospitals that connect to the miracle services and the tremendous testimonies that have come out. And for those of you who are connecting right now in any hospital, you are connecting for a patient, probably a patient that is already dying, cancer, any demonic thing. Some of you are standing in for your loved ones. You may not have the time to take testimonies tonight, but in the name of Jesus, I want you to believe. He gave us this anointing and it's to be an extension of his healing power to the nations. As I pray, I want you to believe by faith. And shout a loud believing amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing a breast lump. Right now. The power of God is touching a lady. I'm seeing a healing. Help her please. The Lord is healing a breast lump. That devil is living right now in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing an eye condition I'm seeing the power of God touch someone your eyes be healed now I'm seeing someone you are not able you are not able to go to the toilet easily I don't know what medical condition that is. This has affected you right now. You even need to go and see a doctor. This is not just pile. It's, it's like you're not able to stool properly and it's a very demonic situation. Whether you are here or following online, let the healing power of Jesus touch you right now. There's someone, you have what we call nose bleeding. You can stand in the sun and blood just begins to come out of your nose. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is, but the power of God is touching you now. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone with a very, you are a man. You go to ease yourself and you're easing out blood. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the mercy of God, may the power of God touch you now. Amen every eye condition be healed now every deaf ear in the name of Jesus I declare that you are open this moment in the name of Jesus Christ everyone suffering from any bone condition I decree and declare by the power of the Lord Jesus let your limbs find strength now let your limbs find strength now there's someone you slept on 
this side, the left side of your, your shoulder and you've been having excruciating pain. The power of God is touching you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me two people, your molars. If I don't pray for you, they will have to extract it because I'm seeing holes already and it's bringing you severe pain around your mouth. But by the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be a miracle for you now. Ah, I need to pray for someone. I'm seeing a family mourning and I'm seeing someone just passing to glory and this is as a result of cancer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, because you have revealed this by your mercy and by your grace, avert death over this family. Avert death over this family. Let me pray for everyone here and those connecting online that has any trace of cancer. By this unction in the name of Jesus, let cancer die. Let cancer die. Let cancer die. Let cancer die. The Lord is showing me someone, you have a condition. I think I need to go and read this medical book so that I know the name of these things. You have a condition where your blood cells are fighting themselves. This is what I'm seeing. Fighting themselves like a condition where your body fights itself. Not like there's necessarily an external some it fights itself i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus that tragedy comes to an end now there's someone you are not overweight yet you lose energy the, you can't climb a stair and just the moment you do any work that seems to exhaust you a bit you start breathing there's something wrong with your heart you are not even aware because from what I'm seeing, oxygen is not pumping to your body very well. And this is deteriorating. It's like you have a weak heart. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. May my God give you a brand new heart now. Every kidney condition be healed now. Every liver problem be healed now. Digestive problems be healed now. And hear me, anyone under the sound of my voice who has not been able to carry their baby in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is wrong with your body, let it be cleansed and perfected now. Cleansed and perfected now. Cleansed and perfected now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, something happened to your voice. Right now you speak, you just have to hush. You can't speak very loud and clear. And you know, it looks like you have to hush. That's the only way to speak. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus, let the healing power of Jesus touch you now. In the name of Jesus. There is a lady God is showing me. Um... You have a medical condition that will not allow you give birth and the doctor has discussed it with you there is a name he has given you the Lord is saying I should pray for you and release you from this in the name of Jesus whoever that person is be released now Amen. hallelujah someone is beginning to have a swollen foot you do not even know but your legs are beginning to swell I'm not a doctor, but I'm hearing in my spirit that this is a problem with your liver. I have to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be healed now. Be healed now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be healed now. In fact, God is, God is healing a woman I'm seeing a woman with excruciating pain around her back here. In Jesus' name, the power of God is touching you now. The power of God is touching you now. Now, there's someone, you are not on this ground, but I need to pray for you. 
someone went to give you an injection and I don't know if it maybe it's like they made a mistake this is two weeks now you have been limping you have been limping if I don't pray for you I'm seeing that that condition is going to remain like that because something has been touched that should not have been touched but by the message of God I decree and declare the God who is the creator of the ends of the earth may he bring perfection to your body in the name of Jesus koinonia be healed those following online be healed all the overflows be healed all the hospitals following be healed in the name of Jesus neck problems be healed blood problems be healed organ problems be healed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus